happening today. President-elect Donald Trump is going to travel to South Texas to watch SpaceX conduct its sixth test flight of its Starship rocket. That is the giant rocket that SpaceX hopes to use someday to fly astronauts to the moon and to Mars. The company's billionaire founder, Elon Musk, has become a close ally of Trump's in recent months. That has put the spotlight on Musk's growing influence on America's space program and where it could go from here. Our Jason Allen joins us live from South Padre Island this morning. Jason, good to see you. Hey, good morning, Karen. It's a breezy morning here on the South Texas coast, but SpaceX saying that everything is on track for an afternoon liftoff. You can see the rocket back there behind me, and they are hoping for another dramatic day like they had a month ago. We have liftoff. In a stunning engineering feat last month, SpaceX launched the world's largest and most powerful rocket, and minutes later flew the booster back to its launch tower. It wrapped those arms around it, and it held it, and just like you hold your baby at night. You know? Even on election night, President-elect and Trump was, was still captivated by the achievement of his close advisor, Elon Musk, the billionaire founder of SpaceX. Reusability is the key to uh, a great future in space. Rocket reusability made his company the king of commercial spaceflight. The Starlink satellites have deployed. SpaceX operates two-thirds of all active satellites orbiting the Earth, nearly 7,000 of them. And SpaceX has billions of dollars in government contracts to launch satellites, to ferry astronauts to and from the International Space Station, and to build starships for the first two human moon landings of NASA's Artemis program. SpaceX functionally has the monopoly on access to space. We are dependent on them for our lunar plans and maybe in the future our Mars plans. Musk founded SpaceX to colonize Mars. Starship is the key to that goal, and Trump as president could give it a boost. Elon, get those rocket ships going because we want to reach Mars before the end of my term. We want to do it. If you put all the politics aside, we are looking at a serious effort to return to the moon and probably the most serious effort in human history to send, if not humans to Mars in the next four years, a lot of stuff. And to possibly send all that stuff or humans up into space, Karen, they have to demonstrate that they can perform these launches and these landings, these catches over and over and over again. And we'll all be watching to see if they can do it again today. Jason, thank you very much. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you later this afternoon.